Well, this apartment complex has signs warning people to not come on the property, but in this case, police say the danger was already inside. The suspect lives here, and police say it was three young girls who took action. Hey. Yes. Is she related to you? A moment of bravery. No. Are you related to him? Yeah. I no, didn't. you're not. She just said no. Stop. Walk away. This is not what this trio of friends expected to happen on a summer evening two weeks ago. Yeah, we were all just playing outside, like sports and stuff. And then the ice cream truck came, so we wanted ice cream. That's when their typical day in Kent took a turn. That's when we saw the little girl and the man. Her brother said that he was going to go get candy, but he only wanted her to go. So then that's when like we kind of got suspicious. 13 year old Esme says that's when she and her 11 year old friends started questioning the man. I was scared of the things that could happen to the poor little girl. So I just wanted like to get her out of there. The man who was walking away holding the wrist of a six year old girl. He cussed at me and walked like told me to walk away. The girls say the man who lives in the complex started speed walking away and they started hey. following and recording. We decided to walk her home because I mean I highly doubt she knew what was going on. That's when Esme's mom called police who arrested the man. Today in court, 40 year old Hadar Muhammad pleaded not guilty to criminal charges. While prosecutors said he is dangerous and had scratch marks from the girl and that he brought her more than 100 yards away, the defense said he has lived there for three years and frequently offers kids toys and candy. The suspect told police he had asked the girl for help with his prayer beads. The judge set bail at $200,000 and if he makes bail, he is allowed to return home to the complex. After all that, like, how are you going to let him live here? Again. In court, Muhammad had a translator and the defense argued his English is poor, which they claim made the situation worse. He does speak English. He was cussing at us yep. in, in, in English. Hey. As me says, she's glad they recorded the video. It's like big evidence now, so. But she is even more proud that they took action and hopes others would do the same. Like imagine what could have happened to that little girl if we like stayed back, you know? Like that's what I don't want to think about. In Kent, because like that's scary. Connor Board, King 5 News.